Welcome to a new to a new. In this episode, we're going to make a float line, a DIY float line. So we're going to be using this line here, or you can use any other line. This line came for free with my float. Um, however, however, when you attach this to the speed gun, what happened to this line? It gets soaked with the water, becomes too heavy and then it sinks with you, it doesn't float. So when you go down around boulders and around rocks, this gets tangled and stuck in the rocks. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this line float using a simple air tube, which is, which is in aquariums or fish tanks. Purchase the air tubes, a hundred meter roll. This hundred meter roll um, off eBay for twenty dollars. Um, um, the diameters of this air tube, uh, the inner diameter is four millimeters and the outer is six millimeters. So this should fit snugly. Into the air tube and then what we're going to do we're going to seal both ends and then you can attach it to your speed gun and that will become a float line now in order to feed this line through the air tube you're going to need um, a fishing line a very strong fishing line mono line or a braid then what you're going to do you're going to use a needle a threaded needle you're going to thread the line through it tie a knot and then you're going to drag this needle along with the fishing line using a simple magnet which will drag the line from the outside through the air tube all the way to the other side and once we on the other side we can tie another knot to one of the ends here and then pull it through and then finally. Um, so what I'm so what I'm do first of all we're going to check the length of how much we need. Now the end of it, so we'll just leave a bit more and we'll cut it on here. Thread it. Okay, be okay, be patient because this is a very critical step. So here I threaded the line. So now we're going to tie a double knot So as you can see I ended up using uh, this thin drill bit um, Wrapped a braid a couple of times and put a little bit of super glue so I won't create a knot And then here we go um, The line's been threaded uh, all over the 25 meters so now we're going to do now, we're going to so tie, the, so tie the orange and then pull it through, see how it goes. So now you can see here we just threaded the line as we um, like with the needle, like you saw with the needles. We've done it a couple of times, in and out, and then a couple of turns and double knots. So, so we'll pull the cable, we'll pull the braid from the other end, and then should this should uh, feed through.
Okay, so what we've done, we fed the line through all the way. And as you can see, this is the other end. It's turned out to be 15 meters. And this is the other end, so it will look like that. So what we'll do now, we'll grab it, we'll do a tag, make sure that the tag is right at the edge, just like that. Okay. Now what we'll do, we'll grab a zip tie, and then we'll tie it on that. Over the edge of it and the knot. So we be right over the edge. And, and the second one will be under that by a bit. So, like that. There you go, we've got the two ends. And now what we can do, we can snip this end here. We've got the two ends, the two ends now. Just plan. We're going to do, we're going to feed this. Simple as that. We'll feed it through, it through. And then we'll hit shrink it. So now we've got both ends this way. You can use a liner just to hit shrink it. And then we'll do the other part here. One zip tie here. And the other on the other end. Now what I'm doing, what I'm doing, I'm charging the speed spike. So I put one of the loops in, and then I'm feeding it through the second loop. So this is snug and tight like that. This is this is loop that I have. It's got a clip from here. It's got an end from here, and a wood clip here, and then. Towards the end, you have a you have a, a, stop, a slight stopper. Okay, so what we're going to do, you need to be careful that this this is going to attach to the uh, to the float, and it's going to be dangling down. So this will stop the fish from sliding back. So once the fish slides up, this will stop them from sliding back down. So this is going to the float. This is going to the line. So what we're going to do now get this tag which is the tag that's going to get attached to it we're going to feed it through all right and then we're going to get the other tag the other end and feed it through the line here and just run all the way down run all the way and this is how it's going to be the end finish so now this is how it's going to be. Uh, we could add another um, zip tie here and on the other end. So this now will attach to the clip. So it will sit like that. And this will go on um, the flag. So now we have a fully rigged. Where we have the float, 
we have the attachment line going into the fish stopper, going into the one end of our line. And we have 15 meters of the float line which comes to this end here. And this will be up to your clip directly on the gun. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.